What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so I may have mentioned a little something about going to capture Mew, and, uh, well, we just won the third badge, yeah? And I did mention about the Mew glitch, but there is something else that we need to do before we go into that whole Mew glitch, and that is, you know, take a nice trip all the way back to Pewter City, because we got a few things, uh, going for us. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be traveling back. Now I just gotta find my bicycle. Alrighty, found my bicycle, and let's go. So yeah, in the last episode, we managed to beat me, um, not Mew, but Lieutenant Surge, grab a Squirtle from this lady, and, uh, you know, I guess, you know, just be a cool person, all in general. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to tell, me, to tell you guys. But yes, we are in the Diglett's Cave right now, and, uh, of course, it says it all. You'll find it there. And that is Diglett. And, uh, well... They're very speedy. They're very annoying. You gotta be careful. Um, of event well, eventually you'll you'll find that occasional dig dug trio. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna switch it up to who who oh to Thrasher or no to a uh, Hydro right here because they are ground type of somewhat rock walk type or rock types and stuff. They are weak against water type Pokemon right here. And well, there's another dug Diglett Diglett. Again, you can you can actually find a dug trio here too. Um. It's not that hard to find. And here we go. Conti oh, wow. Still won't uh, let me go through. Probably should have bought those repels. I really should have bought those repels right there. And it's probably the same Diglett that's been bugging me since, I don't know, God knows when. See what I mean? Won't let me through. This must be the, the other level 18 person. Yes, it's the same one. So, I'm going to beat it with the bubble beam because I'm, I'm getting annoyed. Go away. Oh yeah, so you fainted. Alright, okay. No more never mind. Spoke too soon. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, Diglett. Just let me through. That's Diglett's little sister or little brother. I don't even know. Come on. Okay. Continuing on, we're almost there. And uh no, this is another Diglett, right? Or quite possibly to do no. We're good, we're good, okay. And this is the little, little brother of that Diglett that we just beat. And we're not going to fight you because you are weak. And finally, we're out of here. Talk to this person. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could it light, light it up, hmm, that is true, that is true. That is exactly what we're gonna go get. And uh, you know what, I'm still gonna be using the bike right here. And what you need right here, guys, is a Pokemon that knows, uh, Cut, which is pretty cool. I actually do have a Pokemon. Talk to this person. If a fated Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use its uh, moves like Cut. And now, if you talk to this person right here, he will be looking for a Clefairy, and he will want to trade it for a Mr. Mime. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a Clefairy. Uh, in Pokemon Red and Blue, he will be asking for an Abra for a Mr. Mime. So later on, we will come back to this guy and, you know, trade him for um, a Clefairy. I think... I think we're going to do that, like, right after we're done with this adventure right here. So, use a Pokemon that knows cut. That's right. Going back to where it all began, guys. Well, on the opposite way right here, you'll find some cool items as well. Now, if you go right here and talk to this gentleman, he's the Professor Oak's aide. And he's like, if you've got ten different kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you the technique HMO5, which is Flash. So, Draven... Have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? And I'm just going to say yes, because I've caught, what, 26 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. HMO5. And it is Flash. Lights even the darkest dungeons. So that's another HM right there that, you know, I kind of don't like, but it is what it is. You know, it, it is what it is. I might teach that to Pikachu. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Might exchange that for his double team. I don't know. I like to be a little more strategic here. I could always trade them to Pokemon Gold and Silver. You know, just to delete that. And here we have another HP up. Remember, we, we got an HP up uh, at Mount Moon. I did sell that for some more money. And, wow, we got no more uh, room for items, which is kind of funny. So, let's see. That's Max Ether. Huh. I like this a doozy. Might as well use uh, Thunderbolt then, right? Okay, so... Thrasher can learn Thunderbolt. Of course, Sparky and Hydra. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Hydra right here. 
Okay, so gotta delete a move here. And uh, I'm sorry, tackle, you're done. And there we go. Okay, so we made enough room for something. And this is a moonstone. Okay, one of the four moonstones that you can find in this game. And is there anything else? No. I do not want to go to the Viridian Forest. So we're just gonna be uh, using our bicycle right here. Alrighty, okay. Okay, if I can only fit it through here. And going through this place right here. I don't know what to call this area, but you know, it's a secret area. Back when I was playing Pokemon Blue, the be very beginning, I couldn't find this area. I actually went through the rock tunnel uh, without any lights. I actually made it through there. So it was, it was, it was pretty cool. Very, very cool. Didn't know how I did it, but I managed to do it somehow, guys. It, it, I guess many of you guys have done it too, if you, get, you guys didn't have any uh, Pokemon uh, guide throughs or whatnot back in the day, you know, those Pokemon books, magazines, and all that stuff. And here we are back in Pewter City. Now, before we do anything, I gotta go. You know what? I gotta go to the Pokemon Center because I have to. I have to do something right here. Yeah, I have to go make some make some room for my. Uh, m well, I have to make some room in my bag, so I'm gonna just deposit a few things. Um, okay, so I don't need the Moonstone. And let's see, Ether. TMO4, you know what, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna send that too, don't really need it, and then the HMO1, I don't really need it anymore, and let's just throw, it. let's just put that TM44 away as well, and then, what else, what else, what else, um, we need that for later on, but we will, we will keep it, but I think that's, okay, so the SSN ticket is, uh, gone, and... I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so we made enough space right here. Now it is time to go to another place right here, which we said we, well, we, which we promised that we would go back to, and that is the Pewter City Museum, but the back side of it. So, driving on my bicycle right here, my Harley, my Harley Davidson, not really. And if I can only fit in there, and go there, do Besor, use that cut technique. Okay, okay, I, there we go. Talk to these individuals. We are proud of, two, or we are proud of two fossils of very, our very, very, what the, what, whoa, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, I gotta read this. We are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokemon. How are you, okay, I don't get that. Talk to him, he's like, you can't sneak in the back way. Oh, whatever, do you know what, if, what, what Amber is? Uh, the name of some lady? There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect the ancient Pokemon from Amber. Hmm, okay. So if you talk to this gentleman right here, he's like, Shh, I think this is, uh, this chunk of Amber contains Pokemon DNA. I would, it would be great if Pokemon uh, could be resurrected from it, but my, co my colleagues just ignore me. So I have a favor to ask. Take this to the Pokemon lab and, and get it examined. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the old Amber, and he's going to be like, Shh, get that o old Amber checked. Okay, all right, so... We got that old amber checked, so that's item number two on our list. And I think we, uh, I think we're gonna go back to Cerulean City, right? Hmm. Okay. Nobody wants to see what happens when I go back to Cerulean City, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back in just a little bit for the second part of this episode in just a little bit. Alrighty. So off screen, I finally captured that. Elusive Clefairy. It took me like, oh god, it took me like almost like an hour or so. So here it is, guys. Clefairy, level 9. Uh, really not that useful. I mean, if you remember in Pokemon, my Pokemon Red? Pokemon Blue walkthrough? I did have a Clefairy. You know, evolved it right away. So, let's go up to this guy right here. And he's like, okay, so I'm looking for a Clefairy. Want to trade for Mr. Mime? Heck yes! So here it is, guys. A trade. Mm-hmm. There's Clefairy. Bye bye. Now, I know what many of you guys are wondering. Did I capture a Clefairy, uh, another Clefairy off screen? No, I didn't. But I can actually buy it here in Pokemon Yellow. Uh, you, you just have to go to Sell It On City on, onto the game, uh, the Rocket Game Corner. So that's that's what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be going over there and buying that guy. It's not that well. It's not that expensive. So come on, give me that Mr. Mime, rare Pokemon at the time. A rare Pokemon at the time. And there we go. Mr. Mime. That is right. 
Take care of Mr. Mime for me. Hmm. There we go, Mr. Mime. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. His name is Miles. Huh. Pokemon Red and Blue is called Marcel. And, uh, well, it has Confusion and Barrier. A very good Pokemon, a very good Psychic-type Pokemon, but it's not as good as Ultra Psycho right here. So, that's pretty much it, right? I think that's it. You know what? I'm gonna do exactly what I kept on doing. Teleport. Let's warp back. I think the last... Yeah, the last one is... Oh, shoot! <laughs> no, it wasn't! So, there it is, guys. We're back in Vermilion City. Didn't take us much to get there. So, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will finally be doing the, the new glitch that I've been talking about. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.